Haha, ha, it is I, Surly Dylan Settles, and on this episode of Surly Shoots, I'm going to be shooting the Argus M410. It was $2.99 at the surf store. The Argus M410, 35 to 50, zoom lens. What can I say? It is a camera. It has four easy steps on the back. It takes one AA battery, right there, to power the flash. I bought it preloaded with Kodak's Max Film 24 exposures there is no film counter on it so I don't know how many photos were already taken on it when I purchased it the lens zooms not a powered zoom I have no idea how this will work, but you and I will find out together. I googled the Argus 410, M410 and I tried to find out what the aperture was, but I could not find that. I'm going to guess it's f8, f12, that seems to be what a lot of cameras like this would be. As you can see, there's not much in the way of controls. There is a shutter button. There's the manual zoom. There's the rewind and the rewind. The film advances down here. And there is to open the film door. It looks like this camera came out in 2003, which design-wise tracks, uh, and it was originally packaged with Polaroid brand 35 millimeter film. I can't imagine that Polaroid actually made that. I have shot Polaroid 35 millimeter film before, and it's actually not bad. But I have no idea who made that in reality.
What's a pirate's favorite camera? Argus. What's a pirate's favorite film? Today we're going to say Fuji. So, film goes in there, latches onto a thing over here. See that it's latched on. Close her up. We're ready to go. Beautiful. Phoenix, New York. So it turns out this camera does have <coughs> a uh, frame counter. It's on the bottom here and it's impossible to read and it doesn't seem to actually line up with the uh, actual frames you shot, so real useful. Okay, so this is gonna be the, like the third time I recorded this, so I'm gonna try to blow through it fast. I'm having some te technical issues. Um, so this first roll on this Agfa camera, whatever it was, uh, is the roll that was in the camera when I bought it at the thrift store. And it was Kodak Max Gold 200? Yeah, 200. Um, this is the completely unedited scanned photo, uh, you know, no contrast, just whatever. Uh, this is through Photoshop's ultra con, uh, sorry, not ultra, auto contrast. It just makes it grainy. Um, all these photos are pretty useless. Um, that's what happens, you know, shooting film in a camera that you bought at the thrift store. In comparison, this is a photo taken the same time. Um, this was the Canon Rebel 2000 with the Canon 24 to 105 f4L uh, Ektar 100 film. Very different shooting experience, um, but you know that's what happens. Um, so this is even even with the flash on this expired roll, everything is just bleh, just muddy. A lot of the pictures are just not even anything. Um, these last few are the uh, couple that were on the roll that were taken by the previous owner. No idea where this is or, you know, whatever. Um, as far as found photos go, not the most thrilling, but what you gonna do? Um, so this next roll is Fuji Superior 200. Um, fresh film, not expired or anything. Uh, looks certainly a lot better. I'm not gonna say it looks great, but it's better. Um, as you can see down here at the bottom, this camera has some sort of light leak going on. Um, based on its location and kind of the when it shows up, um, I would guess that the light leak is actually from the cheap zoom mechanism um, of the camera. This camera has a let, I think it was 35 to 70, and it was just a real cheap plasticky rubber sleeved thing that you turned and it moved so it wasn't it, it, I mean obviously it's an optical zoom it's not a digital camera um, but it's pretty poorly made and sometimes it would s stick and not work quite right um, but it looks it looks to me like it's more probably from that than it would be from the back not being light tight um, so these are, you know, it's soft, it's what you would expect from a plastic lens. Um, some of them, particularly this one, I guess, looks fairly sharp. So there is some sort of uh, distance and conditions where you could get a semi-sharp, acceptably sharp uh, photo. But for the most part, they're blurry. Um, this next uh, kind of streak, um, at the same time as this, I took some photos with a Nikon D200, which is a digital camera, and the colors actually match up pretty close. So for whatever reason, this specific lighting condition, uh, this film and this camera with this film uh, liked it, and it matched up pretty well. Uh, one thing I did notice is in this first one, the motion of the water seems to be fairly 
frozen, um, which would make me think that the camera has a fairly fast shutter speed, at least one one twenty fifth of a second or something like that. Um, but then just you know a few shots later, uh, it looks like it's probably slower. So I have to assume that the mechanism that uh, fires the shutter is not all that dependable. Uh, but you know. This is a cheap camera, and even new, uh, you wouldn't expect much from it. I, the the viewfinder on this camera was separate from the lens, um, and I always have issues with that. I can I, not being able to to see exactly how I'm composing, I always have such a hard time compensating for that. Um, there you can see that light leak again. It's just down on the bottom there. The minimum focal distance was pretty disappointing. Um, I don't know if it's expensive to make a close focusing plastic camera, um, but it, like, you know, with this and disposal cameras and stuff, it's like they expect you to be six feet away. Um, I would have to assume it's a cost issue as, the, as, the, as to why they can't make it focus closer than that um, this one's got some pretty extreme light leak and soft focus and so that was the Fuji and then the last roll I shot was if I can figure out what I'm doing here um, another Kodak uh, gold 200 uh, this one was an expired roll that I just pulled out of my uh, storage container of old film. Um, the, uh, the fact that it's all underexposed um, because it's, it's expired uh, leads to them being very blue, which uh, for some photos I think actually works. Some of these, I'm going to try to edit some of these and might, it might make some of the colors pop a bit more, might make them, uh, you know, might improve them a bit. Uh, this is again trying out that flash. The flash was all the way on one side of the front, not very strong. Um, didn't really, when I did use it, it didn't really uh, help much. Um, these are in some of the woods by my house. Um, here you can see the difference of without flash and with flash. Uh, as I said, I was all the way off to one side and not very strong, so didn't really impact the image overall very much. Certainly didn't overpower the uh, ambient light that was there. This was later in the day, but not even close to twilight, and it still looks you know pretty twilighty. Um, using this camera versus a disposable cam a disposable camera or the simple lomography simple use camera which was the last video I did um, not really any benefit to using this or we're using a disposable other than that little bit of zoom range but who who really cares at that point it doesn't really help um, using this camera back to back with the simple use camera has been, it was pretty frustrating and uh, I made me really want to use some some uh, high functioning cameras with uh, you know the ability to change settings and produce predictable images that don't look like garbage. Um, so, so far in terms of point and shoot pocket type cameras, for me the leader is still uh, Canon SureShot 105. Um, but so yeah, that was the result of the weird Agfa camera. So that was the Agfa M410 or whatever it was. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I give it a thumbs down. Um, may as well just shoot a disposable camera or something. I don't know. Um, I've got more videos coming up. If you have a specific film type or camera or something that you want me to try out, let me know in the comments or, you know, slide in my DMs, uh, uh, and, you know, hit all the buttons, do the subscribe and the like and the bell and the whatever, or don't, because, you know, I'm, eh. Anyways, see you next time.
Damn it, Surly. It was an Argus camera, not an Agfa.